Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Thursday, January 9, 2020. Here's an update on the 1953 12-foot Penyan Swift CZT that is so close to the finish line that we can all feel it at Snake Mountain Boatworks. I'm going to hand it off to Joe and let him talk us through where we are and the final steps we still have in front of us. Yeah, so I, right now, as of last week, um, I went through the, all the decks, all the flash rails, the gunnels, combings, and sanded them all flat. Um, and then I went through and got it all stained out with the mahogany decks and a natural blonde for all the combings and the gunnels. And after that, we CPES'd it. We had four coats of that, scuffed it down with 220, and then right now we're at about 12 coats of varnish on it. That's the high build. So that's we, that's the PETA high build. That's the PETA high build. Yeah. Which, uh, by the way, now uh, PETA has changed the name to one of its captain's varnishes, but it still says high build. As far as I can tell, uh, it's been repackaged. Evidently, some UV protection's been added, and you know it, it's more expensive than the old high build was. Yeah, yeah it's uh, called flagship. But flagship, that's right. Now, right now, we got two more coats to put on it today, and then we're going to go through, sand it one more time with 500, and I'm going to try to get it in the paint booth so we can get a dust-free finish. And after that, we have started assembling the seats uh, inside because the, they were all done. Uh, we got a few more coats to put on the seat backs and on the seat bottoms. Uh, once those are done, those will all be installed, and the rest of it will just be putting hardware on it, getting it waxed up and ready to go. Uh, one of the... <laughs> Joe isn't aware of this because I didn't share it with him yet this morning, but the back seat back, in the aft seat back in this, in this boat is freestanding, and uh, her owners wish us to to have fabricated and install uh, cushions across the seat backs and across the benches that will be secured with Velcro straps. In the back, that's not an issue, but in the front, the challenge we face, and, and now Joe and Anthony are gonna hear about this, is that the seat back, this is just been varnished, right? Correct. Okay, the, I won't touch it. The seat back, sits against this combing and you can see there's a screw hole here and a matching one on the other side so it sits absolutely flush to the combing which renders a velcro strap sliding down behind the seat back and adhere, uh, attaching to its mate on the on the seat back itself pretty difficult so our solution is to fabricate two 3 sixteenths little blocks using cedar and we will glue them to the aft side of the seat back. That will create a 3 sixteenths open channel all the way across here and the owners are working with uh, Chris Hansen at Marine Canvas of Vermont, our go-to upholsterer and canvas uh, guru, uh, he will fashion a, a system of securing the, the upright cushion to the seat back that takes advantage of this very narrow slot. We wanted to be careful here because, first of all, the base sits on two posts down here and we don't want to put undue uh, lateral pressure there. We also don't want this seat back to get so upright that it is uncomfortable for the occupants of this uh, front cockpit. So I've handed this off to, to Chris and uh, the boat's owners to solve. Uh, we, will, we will fabricate and install the standoff blocks and have the seat uh, installed when Chris gets the boat in a couple weeks. And uh, they'll work from there and they will solve it. Beyond that, 
as you can see, she is very, very close to being finished. The, the most wonderful thing is that other than cosmetic work on the inside, and that involves cleaning all the old varnish and applying uh, many coats of Sick and Cetal Marine, uh, we didn't have to do any structural work. She is absolutely perfect and as she was when she left the factory in Penyan, New York. So with that, we'll end this update. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.